Today on Smart Light Dimwit, Nanoleaf's new releases are unveiled, there's been an update to Twinkly's app, and news on Lixel's Kickstarter campaign. But first, want more content like this? Like, share, comment, subscribe to keep it coming. Now let's go. Seems like only yesterday Nanoleaf was making noise about new releases, and now here they are. Well, they're not entirely new releases, but rather a new 90 degree connector for Nanoleaf lines, and a re-release of the Ultra Black Shapes triangles. Previously, lines were limited to 60 degree angles with their hexagonal connectors and sold in packs of 9 for $199.99. But now you can purchase the new Line Squared Smarter Kit with 4 lines and 90 degree connectors for $99.99. Or if you are adding to an install and are so inclined, you can pick up the Line Squared Expansion Pack with 3 lines and the new square connectors for $69.99. You can use the square connectors interchangeably with the hexagonal connectors if you really want to get ambitious with the design on your walls. Banana Leaf has only provided some more restrained promotional shots featuring the line squared kits. I checked their website and currently it appears you can't purchase the square connectors individually, though I'm sure this is only a temporary oversight. Truth be told, I actually purchased lines in the past but ended up returning them as I just couldn't accomplish the design I wanted with 60 degree angles. But now that these new connectors are out and you can pick up a 4-pack for a C-Note, I might just revisit the idea. Moving on, we've discussed the Ultra Black shapes before, and I'm sure there are many who will be delighted by their return to the store. However, I wanted to show you this install, which uses the Ultra Black triangles and regular mini triangles that I've covered with a headlamp tint. As you can see, they're indistinguishable, on or off. Using this $15 roll of tint gave me the same results as the 220 Ultra Black tiles. So I strongly urge anybody interested in the Ultra Blacks to attempt covering tiles you already own first and saving yourself a good chunk of change. Also, the tint is easily removable if you decide to switch back. And before we move on, Nanoleaf dropped another less publicized surprise. For those of you that own the OG light panels, Nanoleaf has restocked their store with rigid connectors. Now, they aren't producing new ones of these, so I'm sure this is only while supplies last, and if you need them, I recommend you get them soon. Next up, Twinkly has released version 3.7.1 update for its app, which offers minor speed improvements over 3.7, which previously gave users the ability to view their gift collections based on categories like all, art, 8x8, 16x16, 24x24, 32x32, ambience, my effects, and favorites. Unfortunately, with the exception of favorites, it does not appear that these categories can be edited by the user and is decided on by the app itself. They also included some of the popular GIF used in the promotional shots of Twinkly Squares, such as Marilyn Monroe and A Starry Night. However, when I attempt to load them, they end up formatted incorrectly, with no ability to resize them. If anybody else is having this issue, please leave a comment below, as I'll be sending a link to this video to Twinkly support. And finally, Lixel's Kickstarter campaign, which we mentioned last video, it was 50% funded within 24 hours of launching, and now has reached 80%. If you'd like to pledge Lixel's campaign, I'll leave a link in the description. To close this out, I'm going to leave this video of some of Lixel's effects in action, powered by the WLED app. Enjoy! This has been Smart Light Dimwit. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace and illumination.